Hello and welcome. Today we're at the Lego House in Billund in their blue zone and we're starting with the City Architect. Now I'll let you read that as I explain what all the other colours are. Now each colour represents a completely different zone. Within that zone it means you do something completely different. So you've got a green zone, blue zone, yellow zone, red zone. You also have the uh, City Designer upstairs where that's where the big dinosaurs are and then you have the museum downstairs and then you've got lots of different bits and pieces to do as well out side all of these colored zones and the vault and everything else is all available within the home of the brick playlist now with the architect stuff you can see you've got the yellow red green and blue sections which is obviously quite clever because that's obviously the colors of the zones as well you make it up onto the little base plate you create what you want to create and then you start creating your own road slash plants slash everything else so you can see that's got the green around it so as i put it back down it knows that it's green and as you add other bits and pieces in the one that i need before is red and then as you add more and more closer and closer together or you start to create a city you'll see the speech marks and everything come out now we will go into a little bit more depth with how this relates to the wristbands now the wristbands themselves are something that you need to get through the door basically to get into the bottom of the tree and then it allows you to go into each coloured zone. Within each coloured zone it has photo opportunities and it also has different bits and pieces that you can build with the little machines and the little machines just to my left so you've got a couple of those there which we will look at in, in greater detail later on within this video. What you will do is you will build those different bits and pieces and then you put it into basically what is a scanner which will then take a photo. The photo comes up onto the screen and then it will save onto your wristband which you can then link with a ID card at home so you can show all your friends all the different bits and pieces you've done at the Lego house with up to a 28 day period of you leaving the house. So it's a very, very clever idea from the Lego group themselves to be able to do this. Now within the blue zone there's a couple of different bits and pieces that you can do. You've got all these little bits and pieces for the city design. Then you have a little Robotnik's bit on the back left. You have a big area to build with Duplo which is directly behind me now. And this is also the test driver section as well. But we are coming to the end of the day and it starts to run out of time. That's why the video is just under 10 minutes long where all the other zones are slightly longer but it is very much a case of this was the last zone to film, this was the last thing of the day to try and get in and then managed to get everything done which was perfect and then we just went down the stairs and basically left which was good but this is all to do with you sort of doing different bits and pieces with your robot you've got the little diggers and everything down there and you're moving around with the beehives I do believe never managed to get down there and I never have got down there before so next time I go back I will do that in a bit further detail and find out exactly what it is they're controlling with because it does look like they've just got a touchscreen panel to get it forward and backwards. It does obviously have a countdown to until the next session starts and there's obviously nobody in the queue. So it was a quiet part of the day, what is coming to the end of the day. But I think everybody came to this bit at the end. So as we go around the corner into the test driver, that is always busy every time you're walking around because obviously you want to make your cars to go around the loop and the jumps and get down to the get down to the end the quickest everybody was making lots of different bits and pieces to see if they could get theirs to work to actually make the track and everything work so i did manage to get a little bit of a snippet of mr lego king himself who was in this zone as i'm filming this now just to try and get some bits and bobs done so you could see just to the right hand side in case i don't go back there is a huge duplo area and it's got really nice theming of the train i think the blue area had one of the bigger duplo areas for the little ones to build and then you've obviously got all the lego bricks on the inside now this blue cabinet like every other cabinet relating to the colors has a really nice display so this is a full mashup of diff different bits and pieces that are on display i don't know what or how these have ended up within this cabinet though so i'm not 100 percent sure like the red ones they were just from lego guests and then you've got the lego designer cabinets i don't know how people got these on displays it does look like it's got people's names on so i don't know if this is linking slightly to all of the designs that we are building with regards to city architecture stuff and then it's, it just links in within that so it's all different types of buildings that's why all of these are here until we pan around and probably see a car or something like that but I, I think that's the theming of this one but how people get their work on display within this one I don't know unless again they've just built it 
in the um, in the red room, and then it's been taken to this room instead. Next time I come again, I'll have to ask a member of staff because, like I said, I just run out of time with this one. That's why this video is slightly shorter than all the others. But make sure you check out if you can, and you get time to check out all the other videos in the all the other playlists because the green video is an hour and three minutes long because that is all Lego sets to look at. The yellow one, that again, that's a good a good coloured zone. The red one again. So there's lots and lots and lots to look at with the uh, House of the Brick, or Home of the Brick, sorry. And also we've got a new 2022 Legoland playlist that will be going up as well. So there is a lot to look at and a lot to see. I do try and help plan your visits and everything as much as possible as well. We've got bits and pieces around the Sleep Hotel during the day and during the night where we can see. So this is from Lego fans from all around the world. And it's from every spring. Oh, so it's the Lego Ideas stuff. Ah, there we go. So these are Lego Ideas designs that have been then added into their cupboard. Their cupboard and their cabinet, but again, still looking at the theming of them, it does look like they're mainly buildings. They did have something like that in the red zone when I came here at Halloween, and they had them in a completely different cabinet as well. And I think they had the winner of the Lego Masters TV show, and they had all of his designs down as well. So. Like I've said in all the videos over the months that I've been uploading these, these cabinets get changed round and spun round regularly. So it's, you know, worth coming seasonally to see what they do with regards to how they decorate it at Christmas, obviously Halloween and Easter. But then they obviously change all the different bits and pieces within the cabinets as well. So if you're there to look at the models rather than actually the play experience, it's perfect for you to keep coming back. And then if you're Litlands, are just there for the field experience certain sections within the certain colors will change whereas others like this this section that we're in now this won't change um because it's always been the test driver and this but then saying that the yellow zone has been completely redone for the 2022 season so they might change the main attractions every so often and then the lego models will get changed all the time so in the comments below if you have watched all the other colors colored zones let me know what is your favourite one so far. Let me know what you think of this blue one as well. I think the theming and everything around the outside and just the artwork and everything, it's just easy. Nice and simple to read. You can really take, you, you can really soak it all in. But again, it was coming to the end of the day and I keep starting to film the wrong language so I can't speak their local language where it did have the English. Now that is one of many computers. We see that in much, much greater detail in the red area. Moving on to the test driver, this is one of the more popular bits of the whole house. Like I said, it's just because everybody wants to make a car and then they go shooting down this track. This one's just like a slope. You push a button, you put it into the edge, it counts you down 3, 2, 1, the barrier drops down and then it just times you and then the car hits the bottom. So it's a super simple but very effective section, this one, because obviously everybody gets very competitive and they want to make their cars as strong as possible and just do everything possible to get them working. The trick is with this one, as Mr. Lego can gave it a good go, um, it's either nice heavy weight to get you over or you take the rubber off the tyre so it's less resistance and they go much, much quicker and then a lot of them were starting to get them through the through the hole towards the end as it was a top tip by a member of staff. So you don't always have to actually put the tyre on. They go down on the rim, it is much, much quicker. Right, moving on to this. So the very kindly Mr. Lego King also shows us how this works as well. So you've seen the architectural sector, that's fine. You've seen a quick, this is a quick pan round with regards to the Juco area and everything like that. And this is one of the last ones that I did manage to film. In case I didn't say it before, each one of these colours obviously represents the area that you're building, but it also is where you get the colour of the base plate from. That's why there's four different colours, four different bins to make stuff up from. Now, thanks to Mr. Lego King, we see how this works as well. You put your design in, you scan your wristband, you push your button to take a photo, like this. Plop. Donk. And then it will take your photo, it will then upload it onto your profile, which you then can show everybody at home. So it's a really nice thing, it's a really nice touch, but I said it's a short and sweet video, so I'm going to have to start to wrap it up there. But hopefully, guys, you found this helpful, even though it was short and sweet. But if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and hope to catch you in the next one. Ta-da! Мы можем поставить.